This field is uh, seed rye that was planted this fall, and then we will come back in the spring and plant soybeans into this as well. It's essentially what double crop is in the south, where they'll come back and follow wheat with soybeans, but since we don't have that long a growing season, we do them both at the same time. Um, plant the soybeans a little earlier than we normally plant our beans, so we get out here before the rye gets too big. Every 30 inches there'll be a soybean row. This is 15 inch spaced rye. We'll take both to harvest, so we'll come in through and harvest the rye in, um, in July, August time frame, and then the soybeans when we harvest the rest of our, our soybean crop. It's a way to be a little more profitable on our rye crops as well as still raise a, a pretty good soybean crop and not miss out on that part of our crop rotation. Even with a, a little decline in yield of both crops, ideally we'd be you know, in the, the same profitability as raising an 80 or 90 bushel soybean crop, which is unheard of in our area. So there's the opportunity there to, to really maximize productivity, but then get you know, two crops to sell or one to use and one to sell. And it's just kind of fun. <laughs> Not a lot of other people are doing it. It gets people to stare and come out and see what you're doing. And yep, so this field of rye is, uh, has relay soybeans planted in it. So the soybeans were planted kind of early in April uh, when the rye is still pretty small. And we've had, we had some, some decent rain in, in May, but we haven't had any here now for about five, six weeks. And the soybeans are really starting to struggle. The rye is using a lot of moisture right now as it fills seed heads and pulls a lot of it out of the ground. Um, much deeper than the soybeans are rooted right now. So they look pretty tired. Um, we ran into this a couple years ago, but got a, a good rain right around the 4th of July that really saved the soybeans and, and they, they'll bounce back and they still made uh, 25, 35 bushels that year. And that's all we're really looking for out of them. Um, we're gonna still get the same amount of yield off our rye that we would in a, a mono rye situation, but uh, we'll have these soybeans underneath and, and get you know, another 25 or 35 bushels of, of soybeans to sell this fall.